Welcome back to The Breakfast, and uh, now let's go back in history to the year 2012. His name became very popular on this day, uh, but not for the very best reasons. His uh, full name, Anders Bering Beverick, he was a 33-year-old who on this day committed one of the worst atrocities in uh, Norway, killing 77 people. It started sometime around 3.25 p.m. on that day, bombing uh, government buildings in a part of Oslo that led to about eight lives being lost and close to 100 injured. And right after that, Beverick drove a couple of kilometers to a youth camp where he committed, um, of course, more of these atrocities, shooting 69 people dead on that day. I remember um, very, very clearly how this day turned out. A lot of people across the world were watching uh, to see how this um, you know, incident was carried out. You know, he apparently had gotten himself uh, ammunition, armed himself well enough to keep firing for more than an hour until he had killed about 69 people. Uh, Brevnik was eventually sentenced to 21 years in prison, which sadly, well, I would say sadly, was the maximum sentence in Norway for crimes such as that. Um, his defense, of course, uh, you know, was able to plead insanity, which they didn't fly. But the 21-year sentence is only just, you know, the start. You know, it can also be extended if it is proven that he is still a threat to society. Um, some other thing, you know, that was mentioned in the case of... Uh, uh, um, Anders Bevnik was that he, he mentioned that he had planned this since uh, the year, well, since when he was 23 actually, since the year 2002 I believe, yes. He had planned it for about 9 to 10 years before eventually carrying it out. He said he had started saving towards this day, buying ammunition, um, had tried different ways to get ammunition, you know, but you know, some of them had failed, but he eventually was able to get into a, a slum, some black market uh, process where he was able to get the guns that he used in carrying out these um, atrocities on this day. He also said that he did it to save Norway from Muslim takeover and to punish the Norwegian government for its failure to protect uh, the people of Norway. That's according to him. Um, and one thing that you know, would always be a little confusing when Nigerians hear stories like this is when, you know, people like this can still plead insanity and, you know, will still be given an ear, you know, at least will still be listened to in court in those countries. In Nigeria, when you commit a crime like this, a lot of people, <laughs> there's no space, you know, to have a conversation concerning, you know, temporarily, temporary insanity or anything like that. God help you that you even make it to the court. <laughs> God help you that you even make it to the courtroom. A lot of times you don't even make it to the courtroom. But um, it was on this day that he was sentenced to 21 years in prison uh, for the Norway massacre that killed 77 people. Once again, his name, Anders Bevnik, uh, Bering Bevnik, uh, that was his name on this day. That's all we have for you today in history. Stay with us. Our first major conversation for today, we are going to be talking about um, state allocations. The governor of uh, Borno State, Samuel Tom, has stated that he would like to see states have an upward review of the percentage that they receive from the um, federal government. He says that he would like that states receive as much as 42% allocation, local government receive as much as 23, and the government getting just about uh, 35, I believe, percent. Uh, from the Federation account. We're going to be talking about that after the short break with our guest, Nick Agule. Stay with us here on The Breakfast.